Joining me in our studio is our culture correspondent, Maya Margit. Maya, thanks for being with us. Again, more actresses, more women coming forward with stories of abuse and rape. And the only thing we've heard from Harvey Weinstein saying that second chance, please, I made mean, everyone makes mistakes. He's really downplaying the seriousness of these abuse and rape char charges. Yeah, well, some, he's been at the top for a very long time. He's produced many very successful movies, and he's been in a position of power for such a long time that this probably comes as a shock to him. Uh, but what's interesting is that every day you have more and more people coming out, coming forward. And, you know, he did apparently, according to the New York Times, reach a settlement or several settlements with women in the past, though this is a report, although he is still denying any uh, allegations of sexual assault. But Zoe Brock, a model and actress, said that when she was 23 years old, she had a similar situation happened to her where she was summoned to his hotel room and we have a clip from that he said that he wanted a massage could I give him a, could I give him a massage and I said no I can't honestly I'm a little hazy at that point um, I know that I was really taking stock of the situation and assessing escape routes <laughs> and what was the best option for me and um, I really just couldn't tell. I couldn't tell which was safest. I didn't feel safe anywhere. And when I didn't want to give him a massage, he offered to give me one. And that didn't seem as dangerous at that point. So I let him put his hands on my shoulders thinking if I gave it in a little bit, um, I could placate him. Mm -hmm. But I didn't like that. The minute he touched me, I was really revulsed and scared and I jumped up and I ran to the bathroom which was uh, th through his bedroom to the left um, and, and locked the door and he chased me and was pounding on the door and begging me to come out. A really disturbing account there. We've heard uh, other actresses come forward. We've even yes. heard an, a, a release, a leaked audio clip from a New York police sting operation. There's really disturbing stuff and other Hollywood icons are also more and more coming forward as well. Yeah, that's right. Jane Fonda, she came out and said that she knew about these allegations and she had heard about this a year ago and that she was ashamed that uh, she didn't speak out about it then. She tweeted about that. Um, and there are, you know, the list of women speaking out and people speaking out is just growing and growing. You have Heidi Klum, Rose McGowan, Ashley Judd. Uh, Rose McGowan claimed that she was raped by Harvey Weinstein. These and her Twitter account actually suspended you know, temporarily, because, of, temporarily yeah. because of what she was saying. She posted someone's private phone number, so then Twitter temporarily suspended her account. But someone came out and defended uh, Harvey Weinstein yeah, just a the, few hours ago. A big part of the story wasn't that uh, you know, it was so many people were either silent, but no one was coming to his defense. And now we're hearing for the first time someone who was an actual Hollywood rival of his right. saying, let's let this can't play out in the court of public opinion. Yeah, a fellow Hollywood director, Oliver Stone, very respected, uh, came out and said just a few hours ago, I believe a man shouldn't be condemned by a vigilante system. And, you know, there were many a angry reactions on Twitter. He did say that he felt like the public, the you know, the public uh, system of public opinion, the p court of public opinion should not be the one to judge. But then he was accused of groping right after he made this comment because there were many any angry reactions and then eventually stone just a little while back st walked back on his comments and now he said that he wasn't aware of how many people had come forward against Weinstein and that he won't work in the future with Weinstein on any co-production yeah he basically Oliver Stone says that we were rivals and I'm not yeah. I don't want to defend what he's accused of but that this has to play out in a court there must be there's no criminal charge yet and this is all just you know being played out in the court of public opinion right and then now he's accused of, of groping he was accused of groping and then he walked back on his comments just a little while ago and said that he wasn't aware of how many women had come forward because he had been uh, off offline and he hadn't been following the story as it was unfolding and we know that again we saw in in the story Harvey Weinstein took a private jet reportedly to get help to seek treatment uh, and then we know he of course his wife has left him That's he's right. been fired from his company and they were going to change the name soon from the Weinstein company it's a, it's a story that we will stay in touch and there are people coming forward and saying that there are other Hollywood moguls who are also having the sexual predatory behavior, but they're not saying who. They're we'll not see naming if names. the story even explodes even yeah. more. Maya, thanks so much for, for bringing us these latest.